All right, welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, we have some new footage from Dragon Ball Spark and Zero's demo gameplay at PAX West. So, of course, this is all my gameplay. So if you do want to use my gameplay, just make sure to properly credit me, bring it back to the original source, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, you can do what you need to do with the footage. But we're going to get into today's video with using a 1v3 method. Uh, mainly, I wanted to use, of course, it had to be Kid Buu. So I didn't use kid boot enough i feel like when i was playing this because i was trying to focus on like like team gohan i was trying to focus on like videl ultimate gohan and all the good stuff so i did want to focus on kid boot a little bit now kid boot is a menace so i wanted to do a different kind of video for this one i wanted to do like a what if scene uh basically going 1v3 and of course going down with that it has to be going against the three people that he basically fights in the end of z but the what if scene is can Kid Buu basically be a menace and just beat everyone and, you know, change the timeline. So this is the focus in this one today. Uh, we're going against Hercule first because, you know, it's just funny to go against Hercule. He was part of the whole scene during the, uh, you know, the end of Z going against Kid Buu. So I wanted to keep him in here. I should have put Majin Buu, the fat Buu, but I didn't think about it. I kind of just wanted to be funny with it and go against Hercule and just show off Kid Buu in that sense. So you're seeing me going crazy with him. You know, I'm, I'm trying to combo a little bit. Now, I do want to say this. You guys can see how fast Kid Buu is. Kid Buu is insanely fast. So getting used to him was a little difficult at the beginning, uh, but it did take some time. But I did finally understand his combos, uh, mainly because the timing on it can be a little weird because there is always a slight, very slight input delay and i don't know if that's like the tvs or whatever but it's always it feels like it's always going to be there that's part of the game so it's okay um i did get used to it though pretty quickly but you can see i'm just going crazy i'm throwing planet bursts I i'm doing combos I i'm going crazy with kid boo so yeah kid boo is fun i definitely think he's going to be viable in a, any kind of scene like it could be competitive scene it could be just normal casual scene uh he's gonna be used i'm putting him on my team for sure uh but as you can see you know we're already we're, we didn't even lose much health you can see there so uh we didn't perfect this but it's okay uh as much as i can do the damage to them they're really not doing much to me which is which is great because you know you want to be showing a what if scene and showing kid boo going crazy with it so it's okay it's okay uh, now you can see we are trying to vanish to Goku. Goku is of course trying to run away. He's not really sure what's going on. He wasn't locked on mainly because I think I took away uh, his vision from my planet burst. But now we have Vegeta out. So we've taken two characters out. We're, we're going into our sparking mode. We're trying to look for Vegeta and we do see him. We just try to have to go closer to him first. And then at some point we are going to lock on to him. So right there we did lock on and now we're gonna go crazy we're going into our sparkle mode combo infinite look how fast kid boo is bro like this is what kid boo would have done in a what if seen no one could have stopped kid boo in my opinion like kid boo was him so let's see if i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna throw the ult at some point and that's just gonna destroy him so this one clip like i literally did a 1v3 so it's only like three minutes and like probably like 50 seconds long uh, but after this, we go into some more Kid Buu gameplay and a little more of the other characters. But I just wanted to also show off more of Kid Buu. Uh, I really, really, really liked him in this game. And I think you guys will too. Especially who anyone who's used him before in the previous games and how fast he was. He is a menace. He is an absolute menace. So now we're going to switch to the next clip. Um, and like I say this in all my videos... I try to show off the screen, the select screen as much as possible, mainly for anyone who is new to the channel, which if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys love the Dragon Ball Spark and Zero content. It's going to continue on even when the game comes out, so please stick around, drop a like on this video, subscribe, obviously, and comment down below what you guys think of this gameplay so far. But I show off that select screen mainly because if you are new to the channel, you guys can see who is in this specific demo build and who you plan on playing with 
if you do get the chance to play this uh, and obviously you can get ready for that at some point uh, but yeah you can see who are the new characters you can see we have cell we have booze we have kid trunks we have goten we have all the good stuff videl uh the ginyu force everyone that you really are looking for right now they're in this specific moment uh, and you can use them if you get to play this at some point uh the other thing i did want to ask you guys in the comments below what do you guys think of this con like i guess it's the quality of the video now this is all from my footage like my phone footage right so it's not gonna be direct footage which i wish it was maybe when one day like maybe in a couple weeks somehow something happens that'd be cool uh but besides that we'll have the game in a couple weeks so there's that but yeah let me know what you guys think of the quality of this this is from my iphone like like it's to me it looks really good but you know from someone else they'd probably be like this looks terrible but i'm just curious what you guys think all right, so we can see Boo is going against Frieza. Now, uh, they did have unique dialogue, which is really cool because it, it's the same dialogue with all of the Boos, but it's because Majin Boo is Majin Boo. It's not like Kid Boo, it's not Super Boo or anything like that. Uh, but he, basically, Frieza was just like, you know, my father told me to stay away from you, so I want to see if you're strong. So that's basically what happens, uh, which we are strong. You can see we're, we're putting the, the hands on Frieza right now. Breeze is not handling this pretty well. And then, of course, he goes for the Death Beam, which does get me because I was powering up, which is completely fine. We're going to go back into the combos. And then, of course, the Vice Shout into the Mystic Combination, which whiffs it. Completely whiffed it. I don't know how. Sometimes it's like the tracking is not that good when it comes to these rush attacks. I don't know why. Truly don't know why. Uh, but it's fine. We're going into the combos again. You can see Kid Boo. Man, look at the speed on this character. The speed on him is insane. I, like, I am excited to play with him again when the game comes out. Look at that grab. That beautiful grab. And obviously, we have to charge up. I think I used instant transmission right there, which didn't really get to Frieza, which is fine. But we hit him with the Vice Shout and it completely ends him. And now we're going against Gotenks Super Saiyan 3. So, Gotenks, of course, is a fusion, so he's going to have more health. Uh, I don't have much left, so this might be a rough one, which is fine. We're trying to... We're gonna try to ultimate, which I don't, I think this might break the planet. I don't remember if it does. We're pretty close to the ground, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Okay, so that didn't do anything actually. That didn't hit at all. That's crazy. He actually just randomly whiffed it and then he just ran away. That's kind of crazy. So we're both going into our ults. I think here we're trying to go for a clash together, but I forgot that, um, yeah, there you go. See, he throws his super, but Gotenks' ultimate is a rush attack, so that doesn't really work out. Which, does he hit? No, he didn't hit. I was blocking that. That's perfect. You can tell when he breaks my guard because of that. Uh, and I do want to say one thing. And maybe you guys wouldn't have noticed this as well. When you do your ultimate, right, and you go into a clash or whatever happens, it seems like you don't get your key back for winning that specific um, battle. So usually in BT3, if you are about to do your ultimate or whatever and you, you're fully charged up, and you do a rush attack and you are clashing together that way and you win you get your key back so you can instantly do your ultimate i don't think that's the same thing in this game so that's one thing i did notice uh that's different from from this one and bt3 so maybe i'm wrong maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below if you guys have noticed this something differently but that's just me so he goes for an ult i think or maybe that's a super attack uh which i think is die die missile barrage which should be his super attack yeah and then I go for something as well just to see if something would happen, but it didn't. Then we go with the Crusher Ball, which does land right there, which is nice. Now he's going for his Sparking Mode again. He might try to go for his ults. I don't know if it hits, but if it does, I do want to see it for some reason. Now he goes for the Die Die Missile Barrage again. And now we're going for our super special attack, which is Purple Comet. And there is Burter, the fastest in the universe. Both have Purple Comet. They're just flipped on the each side, which is cool, which is fine. But there's that purple comet. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Which would completely destroy Gotenks right here, no? Oh wow, they didn't. I was I thought that would have finished him off to be honest. Now he's going for his sparking mode again. We go with it as well. Now he's going with the Vice Cannon, I think. I don't know what that move is specifically called, but I did try to go for the clash, but it did not work because uh, you know, he was just a little too close to me. So there I did dodge it completely. And by the way, Jace isn't a bad character, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. He feels pretty good. He has a good moveset, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, he's nice. For Ginyu Force, he's pretty good. 
Grab is a pretty uh, unique, or not a unique one, it's a pretty uh, general one. I think a lot of characters have that same grab, uh, which is whatever at this point. Now we see the combos and we finish off Go Tanks. And then we have one last person on the team, which is Super Brew. But we don't have too much time really, but we're gonna switch out, go ahead and use Trunks. Uh, hopefully we can finish the Super Brew off pretty quickly because 30 seconds is almost 30 seconds is not enough. But well, let's see what I do with Trunks because Trunks is pretty nice to use as well. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking so far of the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think of Spark and Zero. A lot of people are very mixed feelings ab about all these things. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's just been so many comments. I, I can't get to every single one at, at, at some point. I try to get to every single comment, but sometimes I do have to, you know, look back and see like, oh, does this matter? All that good stuff. So yeah, just keep commenting. I try to get back to you guys as much as possible. I've try to answer as many questions that you guys have uh you know asked and yeah hopefully you guys do continue enjoying this com you know commentary and all that good stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos and yeah this is gonna be going on for a long time now sparking zero is here it's generational we're gonna keep making these videos and even when the game comes out so definitely stick around uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming on the channel hopefully you guys did enjoy let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys next time